friends, my name is Tiffany. I am a fat yoga teacher trying to make yoga more accessible to everybody. <laughs> I just wanted to do a 20 minute flow today. It is all about grounding, feeling comfortable, and it is Pride Month, so I'm wearing my Love is Love shirt. Super props out there to all the amazing friends who are in that beautiful Alphabet Mafia, like major, major hugs this month and every month. I mean, we need to be celebrating people all the time, but especially this month. So let's go ahead and get started. And I want to also remind y'all that I do have lots of different offerings on my website, including a membership where I upload full length videos. All right, friends, let's find a comfortable seat. So this could be anything with a bolster that lifts up your hips, blanket, pillow, whatever it is that would make you feel comfortable. And let's cross our legs and sit tall and feel into our back. So once we find our seat, let's take a deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Ah, deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Ah, two more times. Deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Ah, last time on your own. Let's begin to check in with the body. So wiggle the toes, flex the muscles in the calves and release, flex the muscles in the thighs and release. And then the mula bandha, that pelvic floor and the booty, give it a squeeze and release. And feel your body, that lower half, make a little bit more connection to the mat. Let's focus on the spine. We Start at the base of the spine, imagining a long string at the top of the head. And we feel our chest just kind of lift up, shoulders roll down and back. And let's take our hand and give it a wiggle. And flex the muscles in our arms and release. And let your body just be here in this wonderful alignment. Let's Bring our hands to our bellies and begin to sip in the air through the nose. So inhale for four, exhale for four. As we find this ujjayi breath, let it feel really good. Pushing your belly out into the hands and then exhale, it gets smaller. Our hands almost like push into the belly gently, super gently. It's almost like, oh, okay, my hands need to move a little. As we explore this breath, let yourself focus on the belly, knowing that your belly gets full as you inhale and then exhale, it gets smaller, moving back and forth. And maybe we're exploring like finding a count of four and then a count of five and then a count of six. Or maybe we go for the one that we think is the most best for us for today. Either way is good. As we move through the breath and we feel into this, let your breath feel good. Let it be like sending all this amazing positive energy in. You could even kind of like think of it like sparkles that are just like coming into your body and then like filling up the belly and then exhaling. It like just kind of moves throughout the body. So your whole body is lighting up. Today, we're just focused on being present. So let's just focus on that presence. Inhale, I am, exhale, present. So focusing on this presence can allow you to move throughout the practice, noticing how your body feels and reacts to the movements. We'll be focused on hips today. We've done a lot of grounding, gentle work, and we will continue doing gentle work, but today we will focus on the hips. Take a few more deep breaths. Inhale, I am, exhale, present. On that next exhale, notice if your shoulders begin to round and chin begin to tuck, let's lift up your shoulders, roll them down and back and lift up the chin and have your spine back in that wonderful alignment. 
On that next inhale, we open up the eyes and we let ourselves acclimate to the light in the room. It's like a, a vampire, a yoga vampire, like, ah. <laughs> inhale, let's single the arms all the way up, reach up, maybe find a little back bend. And then exhale, we reach our hands forward. They come out in front of us and maybe press into the belly where it meets the thigh. And we find a very gentle forward fold. Tuck our chin to the chest and let our shoulders roll forward. This is very gentle and passive and it's just meant to warm you up. I have a sticker on my foot from my daughter. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, what's this thing? Oh, it's a sticker. <laughs> Don't you love those types of like little moments where you're like, okay. A lot of times I'll like find random stickers in my purse or on my phone. On the next inhale is lift all the way up. We lean back, hands come behind us and extend both of the legs and then recross in the opposite direction. Inhale, we circle. Reach up, look up, maybe find your back bend and then exhale, bring hands all the way forward. Tuck your chin, roll your shoulders forward. Find that gentle stretch again. We should feel this on the outer hips, the inner groin, the low back. There's lots of different places that this hits. Notice if your jaw is clenched or any other place in the body is holding tension. <sighs> On that next exhale, we push into the mat. We lift all the way back up. Let's circle the arms one more time, looking up. And then exhale, we bring our hands right to heart center. Let's bring our hands off to the side and find a tabletop. Keeping in mind, you can always use something underneath the knees for a cushion. Or you can just have your bolster handy. You could use that or your blanket or pillow or whatever you're using. You could also use uh, blocks at the top of your mat if you need that. So hands come to the top, we find our tabletop. So we can tuck around, tuck the toes. We're in a neutral spine. Let's spread our fingers and then tuck our thumbs. The spine includes the neck, so look down. And when we're ready, we drop the belly, we lift the chest, push into the hands and find our cow. Exhale, we push into the hands and we arch our back and tuck our pelvis and we find our cat. And let's inhale and exhale, finding a rhythm to the movement here. Cat, cow, should feel really good. And then slowly begin to find a little barrel roll maybe. This just means moving your hips, your body, in a different way, and then we can barrel roll the other way. We can also lean back into the hips, move to the left, to the right. We can lean forward, stretch out our wrists. There's lots of different ways to kind of play with this. So just take your time, feel into it. We'll do this for two more rounds of breath. This is at your own pace. Let yourself feel good. Listen to the body. On that next exhale, we walk our hands back and we, we're sitting on our knees and we bring a bolster or something underneath the knees. So if you haven't already, let's do that. And then we plant both of our knees on this cushion and we sit up. So we're finding a kneeling posture. Hands are down by the side. We're tucking our toes. And let's just bring our hands to our hips and roll our shoulders down and back, engaging your core, and just look up. So opening up that chest. On that next exhale, let's bring our hands in front of us and tuck our chin and round the back. So we find a little stretch in the back. On that next exhale, we just come to a neutral. So we just feel into the shoulders now. Lean over into the left leg, the left knee, and step your right foot forward. So we find a low lunge. Hands come to the hips, untuck the back toe or tuck, whatever is comfortable. And we slowly begin to lean our, our hips forward. So opening up this, the front of this left thigh. Weight is in the right foot. We're looking straight ahead. We're feeling into our bodies. And maybe we're just kind of rocking with it. This is fine. Or if we want to get deeper, we just go into it deeper. <laughs> we can even lift up the chest, find a little back bend, but that might be a lot. So look forward and, and feel good in it just this way. Both are good. 
on that next exhale, we push into the foot and then my foot comes up, heel stays down and I straighten out my leg. Find a little half split, so hips move back and my chest lifts, woo! This whole leg should feel a deep stretch. Whole back of the leg. Flexing that right foot, pushing that booty back. On that next exhale, we plant the foot and we come into a low lunge one more time. These two moves are the best moves for your hips. Bring both of your hands down to the ground and swing around that right knee. Come back to that seated pose, finding both of the knees onto the bolster, hands come back to the hips, we engage the core, roll your shoulders down and back and we lift up the chest. This is done without pushing the hips forward. We're not trying to dump all of our energy into the low back, we're just trying to open up the chest, maybe even lift the chin. And this time we release, let our arms open up wide and then wrap our arms around ourselves this time. Tuck our elbows in and we find this nice shoulder stretch opposite way. And let's release that and lean over to the right knee. Step our left foot forward, however that may look. And bring our hands to the hips and let's just slowly begin to work our hips open. Finding that ujjayi, or maybe we're just hanging out and we're feeling into our body this way. This is so great for your hips. Take your time here, feel into the stretch. Tap back into that intention. I am present. I am present, feel that glitter energy sinking into your nose as you're breathing. Going into that pranayama. <sighs> On that next exhale, we push into the foot and slowly lift the toes and move our hips back, straightening out that leg and we slowly lower the chest. I like to keep my hands on my hips, but maybe a soft touch on the thigh. Or we could just even reach towards the ground. All are good. <sighs> Find that ujjayi. Inhaling and exhaling. Stretching out the whole back of the leg. And I can't stress this enough, but stick the booty back. That's where you're gonna get that stretch. Once you get that pelvis in line, everything locks in. A lot of times people are like this. They're thinking like, oh, I'm reaching further and I round my shoulders down. That's not getting into it. If we lift up the chest and then sink the hips down, then you can start to feel the whole back of the leg. On that next exhale, we plant the foot and we go into that low lunge one more time. We're looking straight ahead, feeling into our hips, being thankful, like, yay, my hips feel good. I love it. I am present. On that next exhale, we push into the foot, both hands come down and we circle the leg all the way back around. Bring both hands to the mat and let's just find a few more cat cows. On that next exhale, come off of your bolster and let's work on opening the shoulders just a little bit more. So if you have a bolster, then use that. Otherwise, use whatever cushion you have. Put it at the top of the mat and you want the bottom of your prop to hit where your rib cage is, the bottom of the rib cage. So we line it up long ways, hot dog ways. <laughs> and we slowly lower down. Hands come out to the sides, then the knees and sink into the yoga mat. Let's rock our knees side to side. Feel that opening in the chest. You can even reach your arms up and over if you want more of a stretch. This should do it. This is so great if you work on a computer or you're on your desk, uh, at your desk, or um, some sort of like phone thing all day long. <clears throat> This stretch will get it. It'll open up the shoulders. It just feels so good. Bring your uh, feet to stillness. So knees are still bent, feet are still planted. And let's plant that left foot 
right in front of the left hip and extend your right leg to the ground. So one knee bent, one leg straight, and if your hips feel open enough, let's just allow that left knee to open up to the left. So finding reclined tree. Take some deep breaths here. And let's inhale, grow your branches, maybe reach your arms up or out, point your toe, lift and arch your chest, feel all that wonderful energy coming into the body. And then exhale, let it all go, let yourself be heavy and take up as much space as you need. Remind yourself that you are a tree and trees don't care. Trees take up all the space. On that next exhale, we move our left knee back up to the sky, right knee comes back up to the sky, and then we switch sides. So left leg extends, right knee is bent. And when we're ready, we open up the right knee to the right. We find our reclined tree on their side. Inhale, reach our arms up or out to the sides. Arch our back, point our toes, feel all that energy coming into our bodies. And then open on the exhale. Ah, let yourself go and feel comfortable and just grounded here. Should feel good. Letting yourself release. On that next exhale, right knee comes right back up, left knee comes back up, and we can wiggle the knees one more time. Oop, I got a pop on that one. That's the wonderful thing about alignment. It's like you never know when your body really needs a correction. <laughs> now, let's roll over to the right and find a fetal position and remove whatever bolster, blanket, pillow situation you've got going on and just find a fetal position for a breath or two. On that next exhale, we come all the way back, allowing our back to connect to the mat this time. Arms come up to the sides. Knees can be bent or legs can be straight. And let's find Shavasana. Whatever version of Shavasana you go for is good. This one is a little pinchy on my back, so I'm going to bend at least one knee, maybe two. If it feels more comfortable for you to bend your knees, then go for it. Do whatever it is to make you feel comfortable here. You could also use your pillow support underneath your back or maybe your knees, your ankles, wherever you need support, go for it. And once you find it, let's take a deep inhale. Open up, exhale. Ah, deep inhale. Open up, exhale. Ah, two more times. Deep inhale. Open up, exhale. Ah, last time on your own. Let's settle here and remove any of the thoughts that might be blocking you. So task list to do's, let's put those in a little box and place them right outside your yoga door. This is your safe space. This is your space to rest and be comfortable for just a moment. As you breathe, let it be comfortable and easy. Let the breath just kind of wash over you. Remember, you're trying to be present in this practice. So as we finish our practice, we need to Rest before we resume life. Never skip your Shavasana. Notice if your jaws clench, your forehead is furrowed, any other places we're holding tension in the body. And let's notice our body just being just a little bit heavier into the mat, just allowing yourself to just relax. And we'll spend the next minute or so in Shavasana in silence. On that next inhale, 
Notice your belly getting big and then exhale. Ah, oh, let it all go. One more time. Deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Ah. Begin to wiggle fingers and toes. Circle out wrists and ankles. Maybe take both hands overhead for a full body stretch. Let it feel sweet. <laughs> and when you're ready, we roll to one side and let's stay in this fetal position for just a moment. Maybe a full breath. And when you're ready, we push ourselves up all the way into a seated pose. We feel the length in our spine and bring our hands to our heart center. Take your time, no rush. When you're ready, close your eyes and tuck your chin and thank yourself for showing up today and being present in this practice. You are so amazing. You can do it. You can practice yoga and feel good in your body. Bring your thumbs to third eye. The divine light within me honors the divine light within each and every one of you. Thank you for practicing. Thank you, friends. And again, reminder, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to go and check out my offerings, especially if you want full uh, yoga classes. I have a membership. It's, just, it's like 15 bucks a month. So go check it out. I would love for you to be a part of it. I also have a free Facebook group. So if you want to be a part of that, then go and add yourself. I would love it if you join the conversation. I will see you next time and uh, have a wonderful day. Bye.